This is not how you want to take a shootout attempt. Bo Horvat skates down the ice, starts stick handling, and leaves the puck there. It slips off the heel of his stick, and this is the most Canucks way to lose a game ever. The announcers called an anticlimactic end. I think that might be putting things lightly. Not only did the Canucks lose the shootout like this without the goalie having to make a save, but they went 0-3. I will say, Pedersen almost pulled off the shootout goal of the year with the Forsberg, but the puck just came off his stick. But yeah, this was the most Canucks way to lose because they were up in this game 3-0. And not only that, they scored three goals in the first period. I actually thought Saros might get pulled, but he ended up really turning the game around. It's not like the Canucks offense really slowed down. In fact, they end up getting 45 shots. They just couldn't slot another past Saros. And to be honest, they didn't get the saves. I don't really know if you put this one on Demko. The first goal, not savable. The second one was in traffic, but you'd want him to have it. The third goal, I guess it's a toss up. I don't know, sometimes I think you just need your elite goalie to make saves and steal one. That's what the Predators got, it's what the Canucks didn't get, unfortunately, and Demko is having a rough year. His goals against average is above four, his save percentage is abysmal, 0.876, but you know what? The fact that Spencer Martin is also having such a bad year indicates that, hey, there's probably something going on with the team, and I think we all know that's the case. Again, you can't really blame Demko for this one, though. In the NHL this year, you're going to usually need more than three goals, and when you get three in the first, you have the opportunity to put this one away pretty easily. Also, man, that shootout was rough. Pedersen's great. Obviously, we already talked about Horvats. JT Miller's was just ugly. I don't like the wide angle approach. Obviously, he thought he had the five hole but couldn't execute. And back to Bo Horvat, yeah, not a great shootout attempt, but this guy's basically been the hero of the Canucks this season. He's been playing great in pretty much every facet of the game, so I'm not going to ride him too hard for this one. Really, it's the fans' fault. A Bruce, there it is, chanting the first. Nah, -uh, don't do it.